Man, 57 Chevy, Eric, that's pretty cool. I used to have one of those. I actually had a couple of those. You had a couple? Yeah, I had a nice. two-door Bel Air at one point. I just remember the four-door, the pink four -door one. Four-door was like this one, though, but mine was, it was a coral color with white. It was one wiper. Yeah, the Pink Panther, <laughs> man. It was cool. God, that's nice. I know, huh? Boy. It did. In less than a year. So, hey, man. Welcome back to Brock's Garage, but it isn't really Brock's Garage. This is the Master Fabricator's Garage, and this is a project he's been working on with the owner, Eric, here, who bought this 57, uh, what is it, a year ago now, you said? Not quite a year. About a little over a year ago, and it needed some Master Fabricator work, and so he got a hold of John and set up a deal, and he's been working on it ever since. Tell us about the beginning of this car here, Eric. Bought it from someone local here in Centralia, Steve Copa, and uh, um, it was just really rough when i first saw it i started looking on facebook and saw him lowering the price and lowering the price and when i came out here my girlfriend she took one look inside saw the holes in the floors and <laughs> then she just went and sat back in the truck yeah and i just thought you were crazy and yeah i thought it was crazy yeah now now she's totally mm -hmm. oh yeah. yeah this is this has really turned out great yeah. so John and the apprentice Scott here have been working on it quite diligently, I know. And and John, what was it like when you got it? I mean, what was the shape in? Well, I know these things are usually pretty rusted out. I mean, especially and a lot of people take a lot of the parts off the four doors for their two doors. Right. Um, three of the four floor pans were gone. Um, every door had a rot hole where leaves got down in there. Probably sat under an apple tree for thirty years or something. <laughs> So order panels, yeah, a bunch of. Was it a runner though when you got it, Eric? It it drove. Um, uh, I didn't realize that it didn't stop. Uh, Steve's oh. kind of was like, "Hey, I'll drive it up onto the trailer for you," and I was like, "Okay." And he drove it up, and then he told me, "Oh, it doesn't stop." Oh. So it didn't. It was like really rough shape though. The the there was rust holes all over. Yeah. Well, that sure looks beautiful now. John, you and Scott did an excellent job on it. I mean, the, the, it looks great. So um, you've replaced all the floors in it, I assume? And Oh, but one. One was still salvageable. And was the, was the trim all on it when you got No, there was a piece here and a piece there and extra pieces in the car. And it, we were still missing three. Eric bought another set. We gained two missing pieces, and we still had to get one more. But... Thank of thankfully they were available. So there's aftermarket pieces on the mm -hmm. car. Okay. Like That's the, okay. The trim and such it came from like a lot. So mm -hmm. somebody would put it all together, said that it was for like a fifty seven Chevy four door. And then I ordered it and there would be like two extra door pieces mm -hmm. but missing the fender pieces. So yeah, and that was when the you one buy we these kits or lots of used you don't really for sure know what you get. Yeah. Now there's different styles too with the four doors and you don't know really yeah. what you're getting. I mean, there's like what, 150s or whatever. And yeah, there's 150, and, 250. There's 210. Yeah, Bel Air, yeah, yeah, yeah. 210. It's, it's a, uh, so it's kind of a mixed bag on some of the stuff fits and some of it doesn't. And then this is the sedan that has that small little quarter panel window. They oh, also like made the a window. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Then they made a, Four door hard top that doesn't have that, so the quarter panel and the door, and that's all different, as we found out later on. So what's the what's the? No, you came. Was this the original color? And this is the original color. Yeah. So what is this color called? Do you know? Um, they, it's like the sea foam green or surf green. Surf green. Sur so this is the grandpa of sea foam green. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I love the two tone on it. By the way, it looks good. I like the white top. Yeah, somebody had rattle canned the roof white, but to do it right, it needs to be the whole. For these for these tri fives and the style of car, it looks really good this way. I think, in my personal opinion. And they had put some darker green and some primer, a couple different colors of primer sprayed on it here and there. And I like the white there too, also with the mm -hmm. print pieces. That was actually Eric's idea. He sent me a picture of a oh a light blue one, kind of like a. Do so you contribute? Grabber blue. You contribute. Sharp. Very. <laughs> I can. Yeah, it, it my, was sharp. My contribution is just ordering parts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, Your that's, contribution was giving us this car to work on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a big part. Big yeah, part. Right. Big part. 
I like the wheels too. That's the original wheels, original looking style wheel. That's a 14 inches, aren't mm -hmm. they? Yeah, 14 inches with the with the white walls on it, man. That's classic. It classic is. 657 stuff. It's awesome. It had the bias ply right. wheels that came with it, and he was having a hard time balancing one of them. And mm -hmm. it's, out of shape or now you're going to upgrade you're going to upgrade the brakes on it though right is that, is that what you're doing we're in the process of that right we'll now put in calipers on the front yeah disc, disc brakes. brakes disc front drum rear yeah okay so you're gonna have power brakes in mm -hmm. uh -huh. that's very new, nice new upper and lower control arms oh yeah them tubular arms yeah they're pretty slick and this time it's been difficult even getting parts like everybody uh -huh. knows you when you order something it takes quite a bit or yeah after a couple of months they just say that the parts aren't even coming or you know they refund like they're all by carrier pigeons that are blind mm -hmm. i can't believe it it's it's crazy yeah i'm even having a hard time getting masking still tape. not getting half of it so the interior now you're going to go with the same style interior as far as the two-tone is that yeah, you're still working on that they i mean, have the kits uh, with new door panels and and um the headliner, headliner and seat upholstery everything is and it's and it's like you just call up them up and order it as the the green the light green and dark green and then they just know what it was originally no oh. all the original so did you change the wiring in it too or was it just original wiring? do a little bit here and there and one of them somebody had cut it off for the old headlights so we had to fix that and and there was one power wire it was unplugged from the fuse box that got a lot of it working and you redid the brake wires and mm -hmm. you just kind of went through an upgrade yeah. and coordinated it yeah a lot of the sockets were old and little tabs broke off them but... i noticed that every time they say like for sale and they have all the parts inside the when you get them like this said uh, i have all the headlight bezels and the headlights and then he calls me up when he goes to put them on and he's like, oh, these are for a truck. Mm -hmm. So so people are always selling these vehicles with all these mm -hmm. stuff full of parts. Um, Project this, car. This one here, the guy said he had the glass inside and actually did have it inside and it was the correct ones. Mm -hmm. Pretty lucked out. Yeah. It was the whole set and tempered, not the old laminated that cracks, you know. Yeah. So that was that was worth something right there. That was a score. Yeah, when I got my Chevelle, it was full of parts and had uh -huh. Monte Carlo parts and Camaro parts. Yeah, and I had stuff that didn't even go to that car. Five different yep. cars in there. They always say, like, it's a it's really original, and we have enough parts to put the car back together. And I I think that's like a standard. It is. Mm -hmm. Makes me think of Johnny Cash. Most people aren't gonna. <laughs> most people aren't gonna look through all the stuff in there before they buy it. They go, oh, okay, take them at their word. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. So was it hard getting parts for this then, John? Mm, not as bad as I thought it would be with all the stuff going on now. And there was some stuff that are different, like the whole back of the car, that bumper filler. Eric accidentally got one for a Nomad. It's like, oh, but we got the right one and yeah. we fixed all that. Got the and, right rear quarter. And yeah. yeah. That was oh, tough like because only one time. company. When you go to buy things, they're like, this is, this is for a 57 Chevy. Then when you click on it, it tells you like the description and it says that they're not they're not taking responsibility that that's not what it is. It says to look at the photos carefully. Mm -hmm. So they sell so it's a disclaimer. Me, like, yeah. For a fifty seven Chevy four door sedan. And then you get it and it's it's not even close. It's for a hard top. Yeah. Lucky you're the master fabricator. Yeah. Well, there was only one company reproducing these sedan quarter panels, right? Eh? Good metal, but the fit wasn't the best with most aftermarket stuff. So we did quite a bit of work to it to make it fit. It came dented. Yeah, I think it I came did. with a dent in it, a shipping dent. Yeah. yeah. Typical. Those parts, they say they'll need to have some work done to them, and that's for sure. Mm hmm. Well, all the bright pieces on this looks great. Um, even the, I know there's some that are original and. Did you, you guys obviously went through and cleaned them up or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, give them a, just a light polish. And they look really nice, man. The car looks really good. Yeah, it's turning out great. Yeah, I mean, you just get the interior done and get this upgraded brakes, and then you're mm -hmm. pretty much on the road, right, Eric? Yeah. And yeah. Just in time for winter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shitty part. So it's got the 283 in it, right? Yeah, 283, three on the tree. 
Oh. It's the original. It's the original mm -hmm. three on the tree. Yeah, and you, it was all the grease and it. it was all stiff. You couldn't even get it in first and reverse. Yeah. Got that all cleaned up and working. And well, my favorite, my favorite drive break. fives are this '57 with this front end on this thing, man. Oh, it's yeah. just, it is. They are nothing better, in my opinion. I like 57. the '56, but the front end is pretty sweet. '57s are awesome. I had fun going to like the swap meet. I went to a swap meet. It's an addiction. The older guys, they come up and they're like, "Oh, do you have this part?" And I'm like, uh, "No, I, I don't." And they're like, "Well, you're going to need to buy this," and I'm. John didn't tell me to buy it, so I just kind of walk away, and like a couple hours later, they bump into me again. They're like, I'm giving you this. I'm contri contributing to your project. You're going to need one of these. Little did we know, we already bought it and had yeah. it installed. Oh, but well, that was nice. It, it, it's a nice piece, and okay. it's a must-have. Cool community. No, that's good. Yeah, all car people are great that way. So John, you had to replace this whole back quarter panel, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So where where did you cut into it to do that? Was it part of the whole back end or how did that come? Well, yeah, it was the whole quarter. It didn't have the part in the door jam, unfortunately, but we made that work. Yeah, I basically had to add about an inch in here. This radius was too short when they stamped it, so we had to move this section forward and we used a little piece of the old one to Fill in. And we had to uh, build this whole piece. Yeah, the dog leg pieces, and it had holes rotted from inside straight into the door. And Eric had already got them. I think they'd came with the car, too. And it was the same company that makes this, so it did fit together pretty well. And I had to slice it because it wasn't a full quarter all along the top. Man. Try to get that roll down to match that body line. That took a bit of doing. Then drill all the trim holes, line them up and drill them. Boy, that looks beautiful. You did a great job, you guys. It took a you bit. Could, of... You couldn't tell. You couldn't tell at all. That's the whole point. Yeah, that's very good, man. I came here and visited him one day, and some of his friends were here, and they were, like, giving me a hard time. And they were like, John, do you know how to put this back together? <laughs> and then I, I was actually a little bit worried that day. <laughs> Well, yeah. It looks pretty rough. <laughs> I'm worried of every time I come over here, but that's all right. Yeah. He does. He's always come through. John. I don't think we used my favorite tool on this car. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Well, that's we amazing. We'll, have to, well, it's not done yet. You still no, got that's time. True, that's true. You still got time. I thought we used it in the trunk once. Mm. No, we might have on the old A-arm because somebody had hooked a chain or something or went in a ditch and bent it. So, it, so was this piece on the, the bottom or the uh, bottom of the door, the flat part, was it all rotted out too? Um, each door had a rot hole in the corner of it. And you said something about this being a 55 door or something? Yes. That, now that's weird. I didn't know you could do that. I thought it was only the 57 it had that little notch in it, but apparently they all do. I didn't know. But it had trim holes up in the middle. I'm like, Who That must be a four door hole? thing. Yeah. Yeah, the 55 went through there, so we had a few extra holes to weld up. Yeah. So the, the trunk in this thing looks amazing too. I say we look at that. Okay. Wow, now that sucker is clean. Now this, was this all um, rotted out when you got it? Um, all along the back here was. This whole piece where it drops off, this whole trunk filler was gone. The cross member was gone. It's basically just the frame rails there. Usually they rot right through where this tire is too. Yeah, had a little spots getting weak, but not bad. Oh, that's you lucky. What was that, the uh, Raptor lining? Yep. That's the Raptor the whole thing. Eric bought a trunk mat. We put together a spare for him. Man, that sucker's clean. That looks great, John. Nice job, Scott. Yeah. I'm sure you did most of that. All the prep work yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. The whole underneath of the trunk. Was all rotted out. Yeah. Oh yeah, that oh, yeah. was this side. There was underneath behind the, the seal. Yeah, it was all rotted. That's we typical. Had to make a piece for that. Grinder marks up here that were as deep as you could go without going through. Yeah, yeah. If people are stripping with a grinder. I hate when people do that. It ruins the metal. So we got I don't know probably a whole week and just skimming and blocking the trunk to get it nice and smooth and straight and looks beautiful. Little man. ripples out of it. Love the love the uh, rear bumper and all that and the blue dots. Great, great job, you guys. Yep. 
looks looks great. I was planning on just reusing all of the old bumpers and the trim pieces and chrome. Then didn't look that bad on the old car, but it started it. looking really rough <clears throat> when you when it looked all nice and then yeah. you put that up to it. Just even just hold it up to it, you're just you just can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah. I, I had the same problem. That's something my dad told me. You never realize how bad your trim is until you paint the car. Yeah. By God, he's right about Absolutely. that. It makes that stuff stand out like a sore thumb. Hundred percent right. No, the bright work on here looks great. Uh, it was it was the right thing to change it out, mm -hmm. in my opinion. And usually, it was usually these these pieces are all pitted out. Yeah, they were. They look really bad. One was broken in the corner underneath. I have a couple of those still home in a box from the old my old fifty seven somewhere. Do but, you? Yeah, man. Very nice. I say we look inside, man. All right. Yeah, and this originally was the two tone, the two tone green. It was darker up here, and Eric wanted to do it all this color. And actually, it come out really nice. I, I like it. And we polished up the trim and new new lock and everything for the glove box. Got like the whole shifter working now. Yeah, I have a new steering wheel and the trim. Yeah, that was broken. There were some things like the brake, emergency brake was broken. Seized uh, up. Seized up. And like I said, there was Flintstone holes. Yeah, yeah, the, right here. Um, Got all new pads, new brake pedal. I mean, got the heater all working now, and all the interior package. It's on order, but it's right. definitely going to take a while before it comes in here. Unfortunately, it's getting to be that way with everything nowadays. Man, you just gotta love these fifty sevens for this front end. This, this is to me, this is the shit. Yep. I love this front end on this car. It just looks I, mean coming down the road. It's just so much chrome in this time of the, you know, this car. Uh, time of the in cars lives this was what you did you had chrome everywhere and that's and it just i love that man with the, with the bullets and everything on it and i like how you guys put these on there mm -hmm. there's a couple of other bullets we added under the chevy logo there. now that's not stock but that looks cool i don't know where why why'd you guys do that that's different. well there was it had just this was the plain model and it had just the emblem but none of those lined up with the four holes eric wanted to add the bel air v so we moved that up, and unfortunately, there was two holes there to weld up after it was painted. Oh, wow. Well, you, you filled it in great. That's yeah. a great idea. I mean, it just goes along with the bullets that are on the car. So that was an awesome idea. Looks great. And uh, you, it looks like you got aftermarket lights mm -hmm. and stuff on it. Yep. Um, just, just a great example of the 57 Chevy front end. It, it looks amazing. I love it. Yeah, pretty much everything. Except for the hoods all aftermarket. Fenders, when he bought the car, someone had replaced them. And then all of this, the grill came with it. That was new and bumpers and... The grill was pretty bent up though, so we had to straighten up. Mm -hmm. The meshing part? The yeah. Meshing part. yeah. That's and it typical what happens. Yeah, and it, the way it goes in there, it's real tight to get it in A lot there. of times that piece is busted out too. Yeah, that was nice because this was already on the car. And we wonder why the lights didn't work. We took it off. And there's both of them in bubble wrap. You know, when they ship it, they stuck it in the one. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we had to put the bulbs in it. No, great example of the 57 front end, man. My favorite right here. So you went with aluminum radiator, how come? That was in the car when he got it. Oh, well, you might as well use it if you got it. Yeah. yeah. That, that's a good deal. No, that's nice. The horns work? Yeah. No kidding. Very cool. You got a you got a generator too. I noticed. Mm-hmm. And it still seems to work for the time being. Nice, nice. Man, that looks like an original engine to me, John. The best that I can tell, it is. Someone had went. Two eighty three, yeah. It. Yeah. Four barrel. That's unusual. A four barrel. Usually they all had two barrels mm -hmm. on them. Yeah, that looks. Uh, so you guys think it's been rebuilt though in its yeah. life? Fairly recently, I believe. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's got a. Uh, a cheap rebuild with just the paint on it. Is that what you guys did? No, oh. no, that was just touch it up because <laughs> they didn't do a good job painting it the yeah. first time, you know. What is that, a, a quadrajet four barrel? Is that a Rochester? What is that? It's not, the, it's a Rochester, but it's not the quadrajet. I'm not sure what model it is. Mm -hmm. It's like a square bore, but it is a Rochester carburetor. 
Man, it looks really nice under there. You guys did a good job cleaning that up. Yeah. That, that flat, that flat black looks good. We had to completely rebuild the heater box. Yeah, that was all missing. Everything in it. Yeah, it had a couple license plates blocking the hole. That's typical. Yep, rat rod style. Yep. You will. So, uh, the car is awesome, Eric. I mean, John, John and Scott did an excellent job for you. I mean, this car is amazing. I'd take this car in a hot second. I, I'm sure your significant other has different ideas now. Oh yeah, she's decided that it's going to be her daily driver. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, that's that's, that's usually what happens, start. right? Yeah. I mean, but that's good. That's great that she feels that way because that means she loves the car like you do, and you guys will have a whole bunch of fun with it yeah. in it. And that's that's what it's all about, man. We've got to keep these cars going, these old cars alive, and like. Luckily, we got guys mm -hmm. like John and Scott and everybody else that that's around this area that can put them together. But you guys are doing excellent work doing that. And uh, yeah, so many people just say, "Well, it's an old car. Grandpa passed away. Let's just junk it." And yeah. No, I mean, you see this stuff; they have potential. Right. You just gotta have the vision for it, and a right. lot of people don't nowadays. But you know, us old dogs. We do. Yeah. And uh, these cars got to keep them on the road as long as we can mm -hmm. keep them on the road, man. We do. And it, it, it takes you back to a better place in time. I mean, it's older than me. Hell, I love driving something like this. Oh, I did. I loved mine. It was a great car. Yeah, I drove yours. Yeah, I know. Too. <laughs> No, awesome, awesome job, you guys, and I'm really excited for you and your significant other to go around this summer, and, and uh, now you're going to know the tortures of having it all winter and you can't drive it, yeah. so uh, good luck for that. Especially looking forward to picking up my grandkids. And oh, yeah, that stuff. Go get take them to get an ice cream cone. Yeah, exactly. That was like the main motivation. Yeah. Do they're they like, even they know about take it? Take them off for hot cocoa. They're, they're pretty young, but I'm just really, that was one of my memories from when I grew up was when my grandparents came and picked me up mm -hmm. in the old... Cadillac, and we'd mm -hmm. drive 30 miles to get an ice cream cone. Right, it, it's that's what I'm looking forward to. That's good stuff, right there. Good stuff. Yeah, right so much of that is lost nowadays. Yeah. So anyway, man, keep watching the show. We appreciate everybody out there. Um, we're trying to get some shows together, but it's like herding cats with everybody. Mm -hmm. So it's the way it is. We'll do the best we can. But hey, keep watching the show, and we'll catch you guys next time on Brock's Garage. Wait a minute, guys. I got something for you, Brock. For me? Yeah. Since how this show started with a 1970 Chevelle SS, and I know how hard you've worked to put that car together and it's done, I figured you needed a new project. So I got you a 1970 Chevelle SS. Oh, you're kidding me. No. I do have a whole lot of parts, man. I have to, that's true. <laughs> I came across a good deal. I couldn't pass it up. Oh, I got to see this. This is a surprise. Oh, 1970 Chevelle. And it's perfect because it's already done. Exactly. <laughs> and it fits in a tighter space, too. Thanks, bud. I appreciate you. Thank You're you. Welcome. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. You guys all knew about this, right? Well, yeah. it was yeah, him, but I heard about it. Nice. That's awesome, man. I'm going to grab it. Was that and all right? Unfortunately, I never all got yours. Cool, man. Never got a chance to get down and pick up. I don't the... have the keys of the title for it, though. 1970. That's even red with black stripes, man. Is it? 